Welcome back. Today, Starbucks employees across the state joined thousands of workers nationwide walking off the job in what they say is a push for better working conditions. The protest comes on what is traditionally one of the company's busiest days of the year. Our Jalen Tart has the latest on those strikes. Today is the Red Cup promotion day for Starbucks fans, and typically stores around the country are open, but this one remained closed. Closed indeed. This Lexington Starbucks at Saluda Point closes doors by midday Thursday after their workers went on strike for better working conditions and pay. Unfortunately, this location has uh, gotten a lot of intimidation and illegal union busting. Um, a lot of partners have had their hours cut. Some have had their hours cut by 30% in some cases. Vijay Tripathi, along with other employees, joined an estimated 5,000 workers across the country to participate in what organizers call the Red Cup Rebellion. Honk if you're underpaid was a message on a few of the signs held by Tripathi and other employees that voiced their concerns of working conditions and pay. This is an effort to unionize the company's stores. This is the second straight year workers organized this protest with Red Cup promotion. I spoke with labor attorney Jay Babb on unionization in South Carolina. The advantage of unionizing is it, it gives a voice to the workforce and to individuals that may otherwise not have a voice by collectively working together to negotiate and bargain um, with the employer. Bat mentioned that the disadvantages of unionizing from an employee's perspective is increased costs and not having direct communication with employees to voice their concerns. Workers are scheduled to go back to work as usual, scheduled tomorrow. Reporting in the newsroom, Jalen Tart, WIS News 10. In a statement provided to the Associated Press, Starbucks said that many of its stores across the country remained open.